Greetings and welcome to LGR Oddware, where we're taking a look at hardware and software that is odd, forgotten, and obsolete, like this right here. This is the Avon uh, Beauty Vision computer from the 80s. It's uh, very red, <laughs> but it's all packed up in this uh, thing here, and it comes with this that you're supposed to... This is just... A... this is weird. Let's take a look at it. This is the Avon Beauty Vision Personal Color Computer released in 1988 or thereabouts. And it may look like a suitcase, but check this out. Yeah, man, not only does it provide vision for your beauty, but you get a proper 1980s PC compatible computer inside capable of running MS-DOS. I didn't even know this existed until I was browsing eBay one late night a year or two ago just looking for old laptops and other weird tech crap to cover on LGR, and then I saw this thing show up, and I had to have it. It only cost me 50 bucks to grab this brand new unit, but as for what it cost originally in 1988, I have no clue. Because unlike most things that I cover on Oddware, this was not sold directly to consumers, but instead was used by representatives of Avon products to recommend and sell cosmetics. And for any of the uninitiated among you, a key part of Avon's business model then and now is to advertise and sell its beauty, household, and personal care products through multi-level marketing. Mmm, fun. Anyway, in the late 80s, that typically meant that a so-called Avon lady would set a time and place for an event, often at someone's home or at a public meeting space of some kind, and then potential customers would gather in one spot to have the representative demonstrate a bunch of creams and serums and all that kind of stuff, before pressuring everyone to buy a bunch of things because the rep needs that sweet Avon money. And yeah, there's recruitment involved and a whole bunch of other things about Avon's business practices we're not going to go into here. We're just going to talk about the Beauty Vision computer, and really the whole idea behind this was to enhance the appeal of these direct sales meetings by saying, hey look, it's the 80s and we've got a computer. And for a few years, they were pushing this thing quite a bit, especially in magazines like Cosmopolitan, Ebony, Savvy, pretty much anywhere that you might find a potential Avon customer, like this January 1989 issue of Good Housekeeping. And forgive the visual quality here, this was printed out on a less than brand new microfiche machine. This little tidbit right here, and many others like it, were found in all kinds of magazines, saying stuff like, What can the latest computer know-how do for you? Beautiful things! Consider Avon's Beauty Vision System, which, via a unique color analyzer, scientifically reads your skin tone to find out which makeup shades look best on your face. And it's free to use with a $5 makeup purchase. So yeah, while I don't know how much the actual whole unit itself cost, it apparently cost five bucks to get your face blasted with light. So, the way that the Beauty Vision computer worked, supposedly, is that it made use of an optical skin tone analyzer, which is this unnervingly medical looking handheld device right here. You're supposed to point the business end of this at your face, and it'll flash your skin with bright light to provide a computerized analysis of your skin tone. Seems legit. It then sends whatever it's gathered, in terms of information, to the built-in computer here, which as far as I can tell is a modified Toshiba T1000 laptop from 1987. They've pretty much just put it in a new case and covered up the function key row with this plastic barrier on top. And yeah, once you've done the skin tone analyzer functionality thing, it'll then print out a list of suggested cosmetics and apparel and all sorts of other stuff through the built-in thermal printer back here, which is one like you'd find on a cash register's receipt printer. <laughs> oh, I love how gimmicky this is. Anyway, let's take a look at the rest of the machine, because you get a bunch of stuff in here. Like this comprehensive color swatch backing on the lid of the unit, showing all the potential Avon options it might recommend to you based on your skin tone. And it's divided up into four categories. Cool, warm, ultra warm, and ultra cool. And then you get the very glossy Avon Beauty Vision Operations card, which provides a guide to operations on a card. And it also happens to hide the software for the computer underneath on a 720 kilobyte, 3.5 inch floppy disk. The card folds out to reveal all the information that you really need, mostly how to turn it on, print stuff out, and troubleshoot basic problems like jammed paper. It doesn't really need much more than this, seeing as the software itself holds your hand through pretty much every step of the process, which we'll see in just a moment. And speaking of the software, this is it, right here on this disk. 
It just inserts on the right hand side down here right next to the gamma ray gun and some ventilation slots. And at this point you're ready to go. You just plug it in and turn it on with the power cord plugging into the top right corner next to the power button and reset switch. And I quite like how the power cable neatly tucks away underneath this plastic door. It's all quite tidy and pleasant and not really getting in the way, which I guess is a good thing in the situations this might be used in. So yeah, let's go ahead and get to beautifying ourselves with computers. Okay, everything is plugged in, ready to go. Disc is inserted, let's turn it on. And straight away we're getting a RAM test, and being a T1000, it will go up to the 512 kilobytes that these things came with from Toshiba. Success. My apologies for the brightness contrast here, it's not great to me in person either. There are no brightness contrast controls here, at least not anymore, I'm assuming they've all been covered up by the case that it's housed in. And yes, there we go, we start up with the Avon Beauty Vision Personal Color Computer logo, loading directly from this bootable floppy disk. And once it gets to this point, you can start hearing the skin sensor gun thing, making some slightly unnerving sounds, very high pitched. And it seems to be drawing some power too, because it actually dims the screen a little bit every time it makes that sound. I'm assuming this is some sort of startup calibration for the thing because it is flashing the light every time it makes that little sound. And you can see in here where the end of the device is stored, there's this sort of light skin colored fleshy tone that it's looking at. So I'm assuming that maybe it thinks that's the neutral skin tone. I don't know, I'm just guessing. Now that it's done making concerning noises, we can press enter and get to enter today's date. April 23rd, 2018. And it is not Y2K compatible, so uh, we'll just put, uh, heck, we can put anything. It is Christmas, 1986, my first Christmas. Well, it won't take that either because it's before 89. You particular piece of junk. Let's put the example year in, will it take that? Okay, fine. Representative information. What language do you prefer? English or Spanish? I will take English. Okay, it's doing the printer stuff now. It just printed a test print. Just the whole alphabet over there. Press enter to continue. Uh, calibration check. Please make sure the skin tone analyzer is firmly placed in its cradle, which I mean, I thought we already did this when it started up. But it's doing it again. So you can see the, uh, Screen dimming every time. Oh good, the analyzer is functioning. So let's see here, enter the following representative information where indicated. So this is where I was to like, say if I was an Avon representative, I would put in my information, not the customer. So we're gonna put L G R. <laughs> and my phone number is 333-777-4444. No, it's not, but that will work. Uh, I don't know, I'm just making crap up here, because obviously I'm not an Avon representative, in case you're not aware, disclaimer, I am now ready to begin my first consultation. Yeah, man, there's a theme song. In what language would you like your consultation? Well, English again, because, you know. All right, now we're selecting the consultation of your choice, typing in the correct number. So personal color, wardrobe and cosmetic, coordination, skin care consultation, fragrance consultation, representative training information. I'm curious about the training information. So let's see here. We have consultation steps, team selling approach. I mean, sure, let's just go through the steps. Let's see what these are. <laughs> what does this software say we should do to consult myself? Welcome, customers, to the Avon Beauty Vision Personal Color Consultation. Introduce yourself and selling team. Say, <clears throat> Avon is pleased to offer a scientifically based color computer that gives you personalized makeup color advice through skin tone analysis. Ah, uh, sure, whatever, man. Mentioned that the analyzer will take camera-like flashes to determine skin tone. And these are the things. So yeah, let's just do a personal color consultation because I want to know what my personal color is. Welcome to your personal color constant thing. Enter your first and last name where indicated. So this is where the uh, potential customer comes into play. So our customer is going to be um, myself, but we're just going to put Duke Nukem because I think that's a thing to do. And uh, phone number, whatever. I don't even have a phone. 
90210, I don't know, let's just get some stuff in here. So, uh, please enter your age by uh, typing in the correct number. Uh, I'll put number four. You can choose male or female. So yes, this does work by design with male and female customers. So I uh, will just go with male because I'm gonna be scanning myself here. Skin cleansing instructions. Skin must be cleansed even if you are not wearing makeup. Use accolade toner and cotton ball to cleanse the right cheek area. I don't, I don't have that. So clean your friggin' face basically. So here is the color analysis, which is a three-step process, starting with removing the skin tone analyzer from the cradle, holding it flush against your right cheek, and pressing enter. Lift the analyzer away from your cheek for a few seconds, then place it back on your right cheek. And yeah, we just keep doing this repeatedly for like half a dozen times. Your skin tone measurement is complete. Replace it in this cradle. Okay. <laughs> I love that Silly little process. Boop, 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 boop. Computers, the 80s, wow. <laughs> anyway, my skin has pink undertones. Yes, yes it does. Admittedly, not the most thorough set of testing, but hey, at least it got that right. My color category is ultra cool. The color group that most naturally complements my skin tone is clear and vibrant. I'm glad to know this. And it's printing out my stirf. So at this point, it's back to the representative and we can press C for a printout copy. And that's pretty much it. Uh, we've got, ah, oh, no, I ripped off the wrong part. So this part right here that it printed out would go to the customer and it's got some information and just says, oh, your skin tone color category is ultra cool. It's pretty vague. I guess you're just supposed to use that whole list of stuff up there and you know, go further with the rep at this point. And then here is what the representative gets, which is just the basic information of the customer. And then you can put in your own notes and stuff there if you want to. But uh, yeah, that's mostly what you do with this thing. And the other stuff though is kind of interesting, like this fragrance consultation. We examine your fragrance needs for day, night, and special occasions. Let's begin with daytime. Ooh, I'm intrigued. The majority of my time during the day is spent on these things. So yeah, it just is like a quiz <laughs> that you'd find on Facebook or some crap. And here you go. My personal style is very alluring and sultry, and I mostly enjoy a wood grain scent. The personal feeling I would like to create in the evening is... <laughs> I'm romantic? <laughs> Go with the wood again. Uh, special occasions for me are, oh, well, let's see, anniversary romantic, church community, social organizations, entertaining in my home, yes. So based on that personality quiz and preference, I should go with the breathless, soft musk. An evening should be night magic and soft musk. And a special occasion should be Imari. Ooh, I don't know what any of those smell like, but uh, we've got another printout going here, which I think, yeah, so the printer just, just stopped working. Oh, there we go. This is, this is quite a bit more substantial printout for some of these other things here. Um, this one in particular is kind of ridiculous, actually. <laughs> so yeah, look at this. We start getting into like CVS receipt territory with some of these things. I mean, look at that. It's quite in depth. I got a six step, uh, step process right there for my fragrance layering, bathing with scented soap, refresh with body splash and spray. And like, what is all this? Uh, that's a lot of uh, information for me to make myself smell good. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. About the only other thing that I kind of wanted to mention that I've noticed on here that can be uh, a bit iffy. They're having a customer do all these things like, you know, typing in your names and you go through the entire process and look, here's my phone number. But if they were to press backspace and then uh, you can kind of see here that backspace is right next to the home key. If they were trying to press backspace and missed, it skips everything. 
it just quits. <laughs> everything gets uh, reset. Putting the home key as like the reset everything key, I think was a bit of a mistake. You know, why not use the reset key back here? Because as far as I can tell, that does nothing. Uh, maybe it resets like this or something. It's possible. Oh yeah, and, and look at this. It actually does have a glowing red light on the back. It's just a kind of an ominous device, don't you think? Can't just be me, right? So something else that I wanted to test out on here is its DOS capabilities, and being that it is the computer is it, that it is, it has MS-DOS version 2.11 uh, built into the ROM here, which is quite handy. So yeah, if you don't want to use the disk that it comes with, you know, you don't want to boot up from this, then you can just boot straight into this version of DOS, or you can use another, like, official uh, IBM PC DOS disk like this. I'm going to put that in. This is DOS. 3.3 and hooray it's an upgrade so we've got that uh, drive right there which is just the disk that's inserted but we can no longer access the ram drive and um, there is like i said earlier no internal hard disk or anything like that uh, so you will still need to use other disks if you want to do anything else on here so either put them on like a bootable disk or boot from dos and then install something else to another disk. <laughs> um, so we're going to try that here with SimCity. We're installing from drive A, yes, to drive A, which just means we'll have to install it to a blank floppy disk. So we are going to be installing it to CGA mode because that is actually what this computer is running. <laughs> it's kind of odd if you think about it. It's like this is called the personal color computer, but it's only a monochrome display, although it does have CGA color graphics in there. But then again, we're installing the black and white version of CGA. It's a complete identity crisis with this computer, what we're doing here. <laughs> and there we go. We have SimCity in CGA running on the Avon Beauty Vision, which is really just a Toshiba 1000 with a different case. So I've got the copy protection sheet here and that mouse cursor is really hard to see little hand right there <laughs> look at that you move it and you can't see a thing oh yeah i love seeing those monochrome graphics draw and cga and a computer this slow and there's the copy protection let's see what is this uh, okay so it should be four seven three three nine three Congratulations, you passed. Well, thank you for letting me play the game that I bought decades ago. All right, so it's SimCity with uh, a mouse cursor I still can't see. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Oh, this display. It's all weird and stretched, but you know, that's just kind of how it is. So let's see here. Ooh. Guess that's a tornado. Well, whatever, man. All right. Well, that's this thing. It plays SimCity. Seal of approval. Well, that's about it for the Avon Beauty Vision computer for this video. And I gotta say, I am uh, <laughs> endlessly amused by these kinds of things, um, especially this part of it, of course, since that's the most unique aspect. And I would be curious if it could be repurposed to do anything else on a computer. Or, I mean, you know, you could just repurpose it to make it some kind of a sci-fi prop for cosplay or something. Um, but anyway, yeah, if you ever used one of these back in the day, do let me know. I would be curious to see what the experience was like. Or if you were an Avon representative and know anything more about the particulars of acquiring one of these. Like, was it a specialty item that only uh, more experienced folks got a hold of? I assume probably, because it seems like it would be an expensive thing. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching another LGR Oddware episode. And if you liked what you saw here, then fantastic. So stick around if you'd like more of this. There are new videos every Monday and Friday. And as always, thank you very much for watching.